Let us look at the last module of Microsoft Office package, which is Microsoft Office PowerPoint. This helps to make presentations. So now I can choose the themes for my presentation in the Home tab. So I can choose it when I go to the top tab, I choose New and I can choose various looks of my presentation. These are pre-installed so I can have a blue color. Let us see, I can choose layout of my presentation. That means whether I want tile, title and content, I want to add title and I want to add two columns, separate columns of text. I want only a title or I want a blank presentation and I can have various options available what way my text should look like and how I can attach the pictures, charts, smileys or clip hearts, whatever I want to insert I can insert also. The best thing is I can also insert media clips that is audio and video in my PowerPoint presentations. So let's choose a title slide over here and give it a title Welcome to PowerPoint. The subtitle becomes PPT. That's good enough. Okay, so I can again change the font and the styles according to my options. Now for uh, different slides over here, I can right click on a slide and I can delete the slide. I can insert a new slide and I can do many things also whatever I want to. Also, I have, let's name it PPT1 and let's say this is a trial PowerPoint presentation, PPT. By the way, P PowerPoint presentation has an extension of .ppt and .pptx. I can also convert this particular thing to SmartArt automatically. So I can simply just select or drag my mouse and choose how exactly my text would look in the form of a SmartArt. This looks good and choosing various layouts for this particular SmartArt. I can add movies and sounds from files from my desktop, from my computer, and I can insert in this particular presentation. Also, if I'm not happy with the design which I have currently, I can change the design and I can see options available for the same. So I can just drag my mouse, you know, this is just a hit and trial things which you can do for every PowerPoint presentation which you're trying. I can also choose animation for my presentation. That means what kind of effects I can add to my presentation when it is going to be presented. So if I want my presentation to come like a curtain or in a checker form, you'll see when a slideshow starts that how exactly my presentation would look like. So this is the automatic orientation of every slide when it is going to be coming up how exactly it should come to the front. Now for slideshow, I can simply choose, slideshow is the show or it's like a trial, how exactly my slides would come up. See, the kind, the way I chose it for my PowerPoint presentation on every click, it is going to be there. If I want my slides to come up 
automatically, you know, with a timing. So I can go to slideshow and choose rehearse timings. I can customize slideshow, customize it. That means I can set it according to me. So now you see, now there's a small counter on the top which will show me that after how many seconds my next slide would come up. Also, I can see how exactly my slides are going to be viewed. I can view them. So if I want to view them in a notes page, I can add notes for each slide, each PowerPoint presentation. I can use a slide master wherein all the slides come up on the left hand side and on the right hand side there's a bigger picture of them. Also, if I want to go ahead and use notes master, I can choose many options, color, grid lines for my slides. Let's see, I can format them. You know about these already. choose the word art styles from a text. Now I can play the slideshow and without pressing the mouse my slides would be coming up to the designated time. So this is what is mainly about my PowerPoint presentations and I hope you can work on them one by one. Thank you.